On today's episode, we're going to be discussing celebrity lighting for a party barn. So if you've got an external building that you want to convert into an all occasions space area, then keep watching this video. Hi there, I'm James. I'm one of the directors here at Astro Lumos. And on today's episode, we're going to be discussing celebrity lighting for a party barn. Bit of a random one, but I'm sure that there are lots of people out there who have a dedicated entertaining space. The client that I have in mind essentially had a, call it a barn. It, it, I mean, it is a, it was a barn, it was a barn, that they wanted a all encompassing entertaining space ready for birthdays, barbecues, New Year's Eve parties, that sort of thing. So we had to create sort of a space that not only had, um, that was sort of comfortable. So comfortable enough that you could sit down, relax and enjoy a games night sort of thing. So fairly cozy, whilst also feeling large enough and uh, I suppose enjoyable enough that when it was a party, such as a New Year's Eve or a birthday, or they were having a barbecue outside, and obviously you link it, you link the outside with this area, it kind of had to be really flexible. So, once again, our favourite thing: sort of multiple lighting circuits, really, really creative lighting scenes to be able to be bright enough for board games, dim enough for cosy, relaxing evenings. Uh, unusual enough to impress them and their friends whilst also being able to be sort of jazzed up and and partified for lack of a better word yeah really fun really tricky high ceilings so uh, high powered spotlights shining both up and down um, we were able to use some really big chandeliers I mean it was it was great fun so that is probably, I know I haven't gone into too much detail and that's, it's quite hard to describe without um, having sort of pictures and that sort of thing, but essentially it's what did the client want to use their space for? Well, multiple things, right. How can we give them and their friends something unusual to look at whilst also being practical and on top of that, being able to become a party at short notice? Um, Obviously, we all know impromptu nights out tend to be the best ones. So we got to know them really personally, how they wanted to use it, where they would be coming in and out, how they would, how when the mood changed, how they wanted everything to be able to flex and adapt around them. So almost kind of the idea of creating a reading area whilst being able to sort of shift some furniture around and now becomes a big more open space um whilst also being able to go through certain doors into the barbecue patio um so that's it so that kind of i mean for us what was really key was actually getting to know them personally um really understanding what they wanted from the space how they would use the space and what we could put in that was unique to them and something that they were keen to show off. So if you're looking to take, um, I mean, we haven't just done it with a barn, we've actually done it with some garages, um, potting shed. So the ideas are endless. It's more just taking the space that may or may not be useful at the time and creating something that people are really proud to A, show off, to friends and family but also to other sort of I guess celebrity friends and be like wow have you seen what I've got sort of thing so yes uh, long story short if you're I suppose if you're looking to transform a space um, especially an outbuilding because then the possibilities are endless and you've kind of got that that blank space that that blank canvas that you can really transform it with and perhaps you need a bit of help do reach out, contact details as always are on the video, in the video, on the on the comments. Um, but it was yes, being able to take their wishes, their ideas, what they wanted to do with it and actually give them a right, this will work for you. 
Um, and that's what, I guess that's what everybody wants to do. That's the fun bit. So, um, yeah, if you, if you need a bit of help, do reach out. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.